is Congressman Adam Schiff, ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman Schiff, I really appreciate uh, you being with us tonight. I know this is a very Rachel, busy time for you. Rachel, I can't hear you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I had someone else talking in my ear, but uh, please go ahead. Oh, can you hear me now? I certainly can. Great. We can sell cell phones together. <laughs> um, <laughs> Congressman, let me, um, let me say first as a, matter of, uh, as a matter of introduction, I had said earlier in the show that we expected Rod Rosenstein, the Deputy Attorney General, to be doing a classified briefing on the firing of FBI Director James Comey for the full House tomorrow. I think I was wrong about that. And it's actually, he's briefing the Senate tomorrow and then he's expected to be briefing the House on Friday. Is that your understanding? Oh, that is my understanding, yes. I, I think they were trying to still finalize the House briefing on Friday, but I think that's the case. And that will be specifically on the matter of the Comey firing rather than on the uh, Trump-Russia investigation broadly or even now on the, the question about the appointment of the special counsel? Well, I would certainly imagine that now that he has appointed a special counsel, that will be the subject of discussion as well. But I imagine the members are going to have a lot of questions about the memorandum that he wrote uh, and what went into that in the lead up to the firing of James Comey, I think those will all be very much the topic of discussion. Congressman, I know that you are um, highly briefed um, on intelligence matters as the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. I also know that you cannot talk to us about any of the things that you are briefed on that even other members of Congress aren't allowed to know, let alone us as members of the public. That said, with that being stated, do you have any insight that you can share with us about why this happened now? Uh, as recently as five days ago, the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein had been indicating to the press that he saw no need for any sort of special counsel to be brought in. Um, he had, there had been reporting that the only way he would do that is if he saw the FBI investigation being impeded. Um, I don't know if that, that reporting was definitely accurate five days ago, but it makes me worry about what triggered this decision for him. Can you shed any light on that? Well, I don't know how much light I can shed except to say that I spoke uh, with uh, the Deputy Attorney General last week and, uh, you know, among others, I urged him to appoint a special counsel. Uh, and the argument the, that I made uh, with him was that uh, it wasn't that I doubted there were good career prosecutors at Justice. There are a great many of them that are capable of doing the investigation. Uh, but it's not enough to be capable of doing it. It has to be uh, independent enough that the public will have confidence in any decisions that are made at the end. Uh, and I thought in the absence of independent counsel, in light of all the problems uh, uh, at the FBI, with the DOJ, uh, with the recusal of the attorney general himself, uh, the only way the public was likely to have that confidence was with a special counsel. Uh, he listened to me uh, politely, heard me out. I had no indication he was uh, prepared to take this step. Uh, but I think it is absolutely the right step, and I think Mueller is a very good choice. Uh, and I would just also underscore what you were just uh, talking about earlier, and that is... Um, if he wants to expand the scope, uh, I think it's going to be very difficult to say no to Bob Mueller. Uh, if he needs resources, I'm confident they will give him the resources he needs, and we in Congress are going to make sure that he gets all the resources he needs. As an experienced uh, prosecutor and investigator yourself, do you feel like the scope of his investigation, the scope of his responsibilities, was appropriately defined? When you look at that order, is that the way that you would have written it? I think it is plenty broad uh, for the work at hand. And I also think that uh, if there's any question about something, whether it flowed directly or indirectly from the course of his work, uh, that's something he could discuss with the Deputy Attorney General. And, and again, it would be very hard to say no under those circumstances. So uh, I think by virtue of the broad respect that he has and obviously the close scrutiny we and others are giving this, uh, I think that he will have all the discretion that he needs. In terms of um, your own investigation at the House Intelligence Committee and the other congressional investigations that are underway, do you think that the appointment of this special counsel will s slow those down, will change your expectations in terms of what you get access to and when? Uh, you know, it won't change in the, same, in the sense that our investigation will remain as important as ever. Uh, it will, I think, give a lot of us the confidence that there is someone in charge of overseeing the FBI that will not be deterred and can't be interfered with, uh, but uh, will also have a new point of contact. Uh, we need to try to do everything we can so that our investigation doesn't somehow interfere with what the FBI and the department uh, through Mr. Mueller are doing. Uh, so to the degree that we can coordinate, uh, we should and we will. Uh, he will now be the person to coordinate with. 
but I don't think it will substantively impact what we investigate or how we investigate it. Uh, but it does give me a lot of confidence that in many respects, the most important uh, investigation will go forward unimpeded, and that is the FBI investigation, because they have resources we don't. They have a reach around the world we don't, uh, and there's no substitute, uh, even with our best efforts, for what the FBI can and must do here. Congressman Adam Schiff, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, uh, thank you for, for joining us tonight. I know you have a lot of options in terms of whether and where to talk about these things. Thank